Hello and welcome back to Greg's Game Room. Now, I recently discovered that RetroPie now works on the Raspberry Pi 4, so as soon as I found that out, I had to download it and get it all set up. I thought I would kind of give you a little brief tour, show you around. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that I ended up doing was connecting my old Raspberry Pi 3 to my network and then just copying every ROM and every setting off of that so that I could restore them later. So now I have a Raspberry Pi 4, with RetroPie on it. That's what we're looking at right here. So if you want to know how to create your own image, um, I've got a video that explains it. Just just use the new version of RetroPie when you're when you're imaging it. All right, then I added some new emulators on here because I never had Dreamcast or PlayStation Portable on here, PSP. And this is how I did it. I went down in here into the RetroPie setup, and then I went down here to manage packages and then I went to manage optional packages. And then these are all the emulators that you can add that aren't already in there by default. Now I added this one called Recast, which is a Dreamcast emulator. And I also added this one called Flycast, which is also a Dreamcast emulator. And then this is the PlayStation Portable emulator that I added. Now here's an emulator that I'm gonna try out of the experimental. It's called Virtual Jaguar. I'm like, I really wish Jaguar was on here, but it's not. So basically all you do is you select the emulator, then you're gonna hit okay. And then you're gonna go down here and say, install from source. Now what that's gonna do is download and install this emulator from the internet. And you can see now it's downloading stuff. And this is how you would do it for pretty much all of these additional emulators that you're going to add. And then once it's done, if you go back to your computer and connect into your share on your RetroPie, then you'll be able to see in the ROMs folder, I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna see Jaguar in that list. All right, next thing I'll show you how to add a theme, and that's pretty easy. If you go up in here to the uh, ES themes, you're gonna see a list of all the different themes that you can add. Now the theme that I'm using is this one like way down at the very bottom called Retro Rama, but there's dozens and dozens of other themes in here that you can add. Ooh, here's one called Mario Brothers 3. Um, okay, we'll try that. So I'll go ahead and select that. I'll hit okay. And it's gonna download that theme from the internet. And I think it's done already, that was quick. All right, so then I'm gonna jump out of this. And now if I wanna change the themes, I'm gonna hit the start button here. And then we're gonna go down to UI settings. And then we'll go down here to theme set. And then there's the Mario Brothers 3 theme that I just downloaded. So we'll select that and we'll go down here and we'll hit back. Boom, that was quick. That's not too bad actually, I kinda like that. Now you'll notice that some of these are not showing screenshots and it's because they didn't scrape properly. Now I'll show you how to scrape your ROMs next. Again, you're gonna hit the start button. Now I made a whole video on how to do the scraper using you know, like the command line and all that stuff. That was from an older version of RetroPie, but it looks like they've solved the issue and it works straight out of the menu now. So I'm really excited about that. So once we get into that main menu, you're gonna hit uh, Scraper. You can choose either the Games DB or Screen Scraper. And then we're gonna go down here to Scrape Now. or we'll click that and we can select, do we just wanna do the missing images or do we wanna do all the games? Now, if you have as many games on your system as I do, and you say all games, it's gonna take a long time to do it. So I'm just gonna say only missing images. And then I'm gonna go down here to systems. I could either select all of the systems or I can select that and choose the exact systems that I want to scrape images for. Let's, let's do MAME because I'm sure there's some ROMs I don't have scraped here. So I'm just gonna select just MAME, although I could do multiples of oh, let's do, Yeah, we'll do the Game Boy stuff too, just in case. And then we'll go down here to back. And now it's gonna say systems for selected. And you definitely wanna turn this off because otherwise every time it doesn't know what to do it's just gonna stop so I'm gonna turn that off and then I'm gonna go down here to start oh it did find some games that have not uh, been scraped yet so I've got 304 to do it looks like Game Boy and maybe some main games I don't know yet we'll have to see what happens one of the things I'm kind of disappointed in with this scraper is that it's not scraping with uh, screenshots it's scraping with box art and I haven't figured out how to change that yet but when I do I'll probably be rescraping all of these and that's that's gonna definitely take a while 
All right, I'm gonna change my theme back to Retro Rama, but while I'm in here, I thought I'd also show you a couple of the other settings that are in here. As before, you can do a start on system option. I've just chosen Dreamcast to select off of. If you could have it start up on any of these that you want. But the one I haven't been able to find is Favorites. And I've got that on my Raspberry Pi 3, and it was so nice because I could just select all the favorite games that I wanted and it would just pop right into that when I started it up. But I haven't been able to find that yet in here. On-screen help, I don't care about that. I don't know what this enable filters is. A lot of different options in here I've never even messed with. Um, if you'll notice too, on my television screen here, it's very clearly not filling the entire screen, even though I think it should scale much better and it's, it's just not doing that. So I've gone into the settings to try to find a solution for this, um, but I don't think any of them have worked yet. So if you know of a way to make it fill the screen, please let me know. Of course, it could just be my television. It's an older uh, plasma. 720p television so I don't know that it's even going to do a full screen but the option that I did try was under this uh, raspy config and then down here at advanced options and then overscan I turned that on and it seemed to change slightly but not not as not as good as I would want another thing I tried was the uh, screen resolution here and I had chosen I think my TV is 1280 by 720 so I chose that I don't think this is gonna make a difference but we'll see what happens it's still kind of not filling the screen, which is kind of annoying, but I'll just deal with it for now. So anyway, let's get into playing some games. Now, one of the systems that I've wanted to play for a very long time on here is Dreamcast. So I downloaded a couple ROMs. No, I'm not going to tell you where to download ROMs from. First, let's try Crazy Taxi, one of my favorite games of all time. And you're gonna get this little quick menu to allow you to change the emulator if you want. Hey, at least I got the Dreamcast uh, interface. It's kind of cool, but uh, I did not get the game. That that sucks. Oh yeah, I'm using Redream. I set that as a default emulator. All right, let's try uh, let's try Crazy Taxi 2 and see if that comes up. Oh, this one's using Flycast. You can see I haven't set it to use Redream. I love that sound effect. Uh, I may have to try Redream on that one. Uh, let's try one I know worked. I tried this one earlier. I tried Daytona USA. I don't know. It seems pretty good, but you can see it jittering just a little bit. I will say one thing about the Xbox controller. It maps perfectly with the uh, Dreamcast controller, at least these uh, four buttons do. All right, I've got the trigger mapped to the gas pedal, and I guess this other trigger is the brake, so um, I'm just gonna hold it down, not super low. I don't know, what do you think? It seems pretty good. What's that run she just did? Ooh, I run forward with my bow. Destroy generators to stop enemies. Ooh, these guys are all over me. Ooh, the key. Don't open that door. Don't ever open that door because you can come at it from the other side. You got some treasure. He's gonna whack your muscle or mm. Yeah, you better start blocking. I'm just gonna keep spamming the same move on against you. And then I'm gonna hit you after you're dead. <laughs> Seems pretty good. It feels good. I'm moving fast. Get up! Get up! Oh, she kicked me in the head! That wasn't funny. Boom! Don't mess with me. Alright, I think Soul Calibur works pretty good, and that, to me, is one of the most important reasons to have a Dreamcast. Alright, now let's try uh, PlayStation, the original, the classic PlayStation. Now, 
I've already tried uh, Iron Soldier 3 and Spider-Man, and neither one of those wanted to work, so let's try... Um, I'm not sure why I have two Final Dooms here, but let's try Final Doom. It might work better if I put the actual PlayStation BIOS in here. I'm just using the default one that's part of this uh, emulation system. Um, I guess Doom is probably not a good test of uh, uh, the Raspberry Pi's uh, abilities here. But I don't know, I just like playing Doom. Get that shotgun! Give me the shotgun! Give me the shotgun! Open the door! Take that! Take this! Thought you'd sneak up behind me, did you? There you go, take that! Take that! Oh no! I forgot what the jump button is! Let's try that again. Jump. Okay, there's the jump button. All right, well, it's kind of no surprise that uh, PlayStation runs pretty decently. Uh, I guess I just need to get that BIOS. I'm going to switch over to PSP, and we'll see how well that works. Ooh, okay, analog controls work nice. This kind of reminds me of T-Mech a little bit. It's got these floating, looks like floating power-ups. Although it's kind of a travesty that I'm playing it on an Xbox controller. I really should be playing it on my uh, PS4 controller. Oh, it got me. I've never played this before. I stink. I'm having trouble aiming here. How come I can't aim? I've got a red, a red circle on that guy and it's not shooting at him. Can I get at least one? Can I get one? My aim is just not going where I want it to go. Uh, let's do DOA Paradise. Travel to New Zack Island. <laughs> okay. Me? Yep. Lisa. That's why we play these dead or alive games. You're here on vacation too? <laughs> Zack told me to come. He said my brother would be here. Wait, this isn't a fighter? I thought this, this was a fighting game. Shop. What is this, just a, an island simulator? I'm just running around an island in a bikini? Where's the fighting part? Come on, we're supposed to be fighting. Let's try God of War, Ghost of Olympus. Ooh, yikes. Kinda stuttering a little bit. This game must be a just a huge resource hog. Seems slightly unplayable. I must well, that's kind of unfortunate that it's not running a little bit better, but some of these other PlayStation uh, portable games run just fine. Good Boom. Shot. No, don't go in the trap. No, no, no. no. I like how she like slides no. in there. Nice escape. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yikes. That's some slowdown. Wow. Yeah, that's right up Leia. Okay, so hold on to build. I forgot how much fun these games are. <laughs> that was more fun slapping them around. Wait, let's do that again. Hey, what's up, stormtroopers? You can't hurt me, I'm Princess Leia. Quick, find the controls that extend the bridge. Or just build them. All right, well, that's Lego Star Wars on the PlayStation Portable. Seems to work good. Oh, there's Darth Vader. Hey, Dad, I need a... Can I have a loan? I want to go get some pizza. Oh, no, you don't... No. Darth Vader shuttle. Ooh. Get 
That's a little bit sluggish. Kill my own troops. You failed me for the last time. Oh, your Wookie's chasing me. I don't know, this game seems a little slow. I don't think it's really playable in this state. But there might be a different emulator that could do a better job. All right, now let's go over to MAME and see if I can't run Killer Instinct. Nope, 2003 Plus, let's see if that works. Oh, nope, that doesn't work either. Let's try Killer Instinct 2. That would be a negative, it doesn't even want to run. All right, let's try NFL Blitz, see if that works. I know people have had trouble getting that running. And it's possible I need to get a different emulator to get these to, to even come up. Apparently, maybe I do. Here's MAME 2010. Let's download that one. So let's go back and try the first NFL Blitz that I have. And we'll change the emulator to LR MAME 2010. And we'll see if that works. Nope, I cannot even get it to work. Um, it, it may be a mismatch of the ROM set. All right, let's try Tekken with this emulator and see if it works. Nope, doesn't look like Tekken works. If you guys know how to get NFL Blitz and Tekken to work in RetroPie with MAME, what emulator should you use for this? I'm a little disappointed that those don't, I can't get those to work, but uh, let's let's move on. Let's try, uh, let's try Nintendo 64. Wow. It seems fairly fast, fairly playable. I figure out how to do the lightning bolt. There we go. Ooh, we got some slowdown here. Yeah, come here. I eat punks like you for breakfast. Wait, right, get back here. Wait, where's she going? Oh, some slowdown. Wow. Oh, ouch. This is some painful slowdown here. All right, that game was a little bit sluggish, but, you know, it's slightly playable. I'm always fighting myself. That seems fairly fast. I like that move. <laughs> well, I do have one last thing that I want to try. There it is, the Jaguar. Uh, what should we try? Let's try. Let's try the first game, Cybermorph, and see if that that works. Whoa, it does sort of kind of work, even though the controls are just. I'm not even doing anything. It's just kind of going off on its own now. The controls are not configured at all. I'm flying backwards now, and Skylar's asking me where I learned to fly. Oof, it's pretty rough though. Yikes, let me get out of this. Let's try a different game. Oof, seems a little slow. Even the Raspberry Pi 4 cannot match the power of the Jaguar. <laughs> well, here we go, Alien vs. Predator on the Raspberry Pi 4. I can pretty much guarantee you will not see this on any other video on YouTube. <laughs> Nobody wants to play Jaguar on their Raspberry Pi 4 except for me. Ooh, it's very slow. Very sluggish. Can't remember which way to go to get out of here. Uh-oh, I get the feeling there's gonna be an alien on the other side of this door. There he is. Oh my gosh, look how slow he is. <laughs> You've never seen an alien run so slow before in your life. Oh, and I killed him in a shower of acid. All right, that's Alien vs. Predator on the Raspberry Pi 4. I hope one of these days that they can uh, make these 
Jaguar emulator is a little bit faster. It's even slow on a real, on a PC. All right, well, there you have it. That's my first experience with Retro Pi on a Raspberry Pi 4. For the most part, I think it's pretty good for some of the older emulators. PSP was not too bad, although God of War was, was that was that was pretty rough. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons down below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you stay safe and healthy. Take care, and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>